Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's try this problem right here. The first question is asking: Consider three galaxies, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. An observer in Beta sees the other two galaxies, each moving away from him in opposite directions at speed of 0.6 c. At what speed would an observer in Alpha see the galaxy Beta moving? Now let's draw a diagram for this one. So here we have Beta. Let's say Beta is here. So beta galaxy is here and the observer from beta is watching that alpha alpha is moving away from him with velocity of 0.6 c also gamma is moving away from him that is also 0.6 c right and uh, the question is asking what is the alpha if, if an observer from alpha watches beta what's going to be the speed of this one beta is going to look like and the, actually these three are moving away from each other right so these three are moving away from each other by symmetry we know that uh, there's no relativity addition here so the when alpha look from uh, when an observer from alpha look at this one this one also going to move with 0.6c so the answer for this one is going to be just 0.6 c. So when the observer from alpha watches this beta, it's going to appear that this is also moving with 0.6 c, right? And let's look at the second question. A navigational be beacon in deep space broadcast at a radio frequency of 50 megahertz. A spaceship approaches the beacon with a relative velocity of 0.4 c. What is the frequency of the beacon radio signal that is detected on the ship? And let's see how we can find it. Here we have to use the expressions for relativistic Doppler effects that is given by F observer is equal to F naught square root of 1 plus V over C over 1 minus V over C. Here the F naught is the frequency of the radio signal and V is the speed of the space probe and C is the speed of light. Okay. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. And frequency is given that is 50 megahertz. 50 megahertz times square root of 1 plus V is 0.4 C over C over 1 minus 0.4 c over c, c, c cancels. So this is going to be 1.4 over 0.6, 50 mega, megahertz times square root of 1.4 over 0.6, and that's going to give us approximately 76 megahertz. And that's going to be the final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.